don't you hate it when one little thing causes a bunch of problems? One might call it a domino effect, or a snowball effect, or even a perfect storm. Whatever you call it, this kind of issue can be especially problematic for circuit designers. One tiny circuit change, one instance of silicon failure, one single violation can have a cascading effect throughout your circuit design, and at times, even the best ERC or DRC tools can't find it, and maybe simulation may not be able to either. So, what can we do to improve our verification and find these pesky issues hiding in the corners of our designs? with the help of Insight Analyzer from Siemens. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Matthew Hogan from Siemens and I explore how Siemens Insight Analyzer can help designers identify and address design-specific potential circuit reliability failure areas. We also examine how Insight Analyzer redefines comprehensive circuit verification and how it can be a compelling addition to a shift left strategy. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Siemens. Hi, Matt. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Wonderful to be here. Excellent. Okay, so we're chatting about Insight Analyzer today. But Matt, before we dive into the details, what all will we be covering today? Yeah, so today we're going to be having a look at Insight Analyzer, an introduction into reliability verification and looking at how designers can really affect change in their design as they're creating it. We'll have a look at some of their workflows identify some circuit issues that they're having, and then roll it all up in a nice summary of why this is really compelling technology for our circuit designers to be looking at. Excellent. All right. So, Matt, give us some details about Insight Analyzer. Absolutely. Insight Analyzer allows us to do full chip transistor level reliability. For the last few decades, Caliber Perk has been a leader in reliability verification sign-off particularly for the foundry-driven reliability market segment, really having a look at the physical layout, particularly focused on electrostatic discharge and other physical layout challenges. What we've been able to accomplish with Insight Analyzer is really to shift left that whole verification strategy and allow designers now to be able to have a look at challenges that they have while they're putting transistors into their circuits, Insight Analyzer has a proven and differentiable technology for the circuit designers. It allows them to have a look at how transistors are put down and really focus on the configurations that they have, really complementing their design and verification process. So it's really this capability that allows them to do this verification without relying necessarily on simulation. And we're focused really on leakage because we see leakage is one of the big challenges that a lot of designs today are really facing, particularly when you've got multiple power domains. Fantastic. Now, Matt, what types of issues does Insight Analyzer find? So it has a broad set of capabilities, but what we're really focusing on now is really understanding the tricky sources of leakage that can't easily be found by other tools or methods. So these include things like conditional floating nodes, leakage through parasitic body diodes and MOSFETs. Insight uses dynamic state-based approach to really find these specific set of conditions that cause these issues. And we really have a look at it from an analog gate leakage perspective, from a digital gate leakage perspective, and from parasitic. These three areas are what we're really focusing on for customers and, and designers to really be successful in the next evolution of their designs. Excellent. Now, Matt, who runs Insight Analyzer? So Insight Analyzer is run by the designers themselves. It's typically the circuit designer. And we're working with early designs in the design process, pre-layout, and a common workflow is to launch Insight Analyzer from your transistor design development environment to do setup and run those checks. 
often the circuit designers in a traditional flow would be thinking of the mindset of once I've put down a cluster of transistors, then I go off and I simulate it. And with that mindset, there's lots of simulations that they can be doing that may not be really verifying the functionality of their design. There may be some issues and errors with the way they put those transistors down. And what we're able to do is really intercept that design creation process, have Insight Analyzer look at those circuit transistor configurations and really quickly understand whether or not the circuit is appropriate or not. Once we've gone through with Insight Analyzer and the circuit designer really understands what's happening in their circuit, they've fixed all of the subtle and not so subtle errors that they've found, then they can run simulation with confidence and really start looking at the functionality of their circuit rather than trying to use the simulation to catch these problems early in the design stage. And often some of these challenges are very difficult to find with simulation. We're focused on really helping designers improve the quality of the design and reduce costly ECOs later in the process. Fantastic. Now, Matt, what does it look like when these designers are running the tool? Well, the designers running the tool, looking at a GUI user interface, loading in their netlist and configuring with an easy step-by-step -step setup in this visual interface that we have, the different power domains, when different parts of the circuits are on and off, any isolation controls that they have, and really trying to understand what the relationship is between the different parts of the circuits of when the different power states are being powered on and off, how they switch, and from a system perspective, how these blocks interact. So the user starts with their transistor level netlist, they make some simple project definitions about the power rails and isolation controls. They select the types of checks that they want to do. In this case, they'd probably be focused on leakage challenges and our leakage checks. They click the run checks button, the checks run, and they get their results telling them how well their circuit's performing from an overall perspective. So it's a very simple user GUI driven environment for them to be successful in. Once we've done that setup, and they want to make a regression, for example, out of it, or they've got an IP block that they want to incorporate into a project. It's a very simple process to take it from the designer-facing environment into something that more of a CAD team would be familiar with, where you can run these checks in batch, can associate them with the different pieces of IP that they want, and make sure that when these IP blocks are instantiated in subsequent designs or in the same design later in the design flow, that we can run these checks again and make sure in the context of the design that you're not going to run into any issues as well. So there's a lot of flexibility in the user interface, running it interactively from a designer perspective, but then taking that setup and configuration and being able to run it in batch for final sign-off verifications. Fantastic. Now, Matt, what other features does Insight Analyzer have that are worth mentioning? Well, I can think of a, a few really critical features that really set Insight Analyzer apart from other verification tools. When we have a look at the whole set of things that can go wrong with these analog designs, what we need to do is have a look at how the power supply states are, are set, some of the functioning modes that the circuits have, whether or not our isolation controls are set up correctly. And Insight Analyzer allows the designer to set these things up. We can have many different forms of violations that are in the circuit and we need to make sure that we're identifying them correctly even if they're spread throughout the design. The built-in automatic circuit recognition before running any checks goes through and identifies key structural elements of the design. It'll recognize functional pieces in the net list the uh, way a human would. I mean, this includes things like level shifters, logic gates, analog structures, those sorts of things. And then the tool uses this automatic recognition during checking to understand the circuit. And it's also having a look from a sanity check perspective to make sure that the way the tool is interpreting the design and the circuit structures is what they intended. Often designers will come up with novel ways of level shifters or isolation controls. And just making sure that they've been identified correctly, making sure that they're protecting the right parts of the circuit that they're supposed to, 
It was really critical in making sure that these automated tools that you're using to really validate the correctness and completeness of your designs are working correctly. Results visualization is another strong capability that we have within the product where we're able to draw a schematic of the result, give the user this instant picture of where their problem is, having a look at the control signals into that circuit so that they can see everything that's causing this problem and really nothing extra. It'll be annotated um, with the logic highs and lows so that they can make an informed decision of is the circuit they've created working the way they intended or do they need to modify that? You know, really having a look at this big picture and the state-based analysis and circuit recognition technology that we have is what really makes Insight Analyzer a very productive tool for these circuit designers. So Insight Analyzer allows us to go through and uses some, some very advanced deductive reasoning capabilities that are not available in your static ERC or DRC tools to really have a look at the best ways of predicting these problems. An example, just one small subtle circuit change can really change the safety of a circuit to where there's no violation or to where there's contention. If we have a look at these two circuits, this small change here on how the designer hooks it up, having multiple control signals in there is really what makes the difference. And from a simulation perspective, it's often very difficult to have the right input vectors that's going to clearly show and identify that these are challenges within their design. If we take an example of, say, some floating input gates, having multiple controls for each part of the inputs there is challenging at times. We need to make sure there's the correct synchronization of those signals, that the controls are safely turned on and off, and a lot of the times, the extensive simulation that our analog designers are doing don't have enough focus on these types of functional issues within the design. So what we're able to do with the Insight Analyzer technology is to go through and understand where there's some logic levels or some control signals that are not behaving in a way that's going to make sure that your circuit's safe what we're able to do is understand that control logic and how the signals propagate through to these control signals on the different parts of the logic design and make sure that we're not going to be creating challenges in our design where we might have a floating input on a gate, for example, and make sure that that circuit is going to be very safe. These sorts of things are very difficult to catch from a simulation perspective. So Matt, do you have any success stories that you could share? Absolutely. The state-based checking technology that we have really provides a basis for this technology that we're using. And all of our users are finding a lot of value in the tool. Just last week, a user told us they found 10 real circuit problems during a tape out from just running our most basic check for power contentions. It finds simple voltage and connectivity issues that's not even including the more complex state-based analysis that we can do for things like conditional floats. And what we find is that these types of challenges are very difficult to find with the way that simulations are run today and the input test vectors that are being presented to these circuits. We had one user that found a serious leakage problem in a wireless SOC that they were designing. They checked the parasitic running the full chip SOC level and found a lot of parasitic leakage issues where the main power supply was turned off, but the backup supply was still turned on. So leakage current traveled from the backup supply through several stages, including a power switch, then through the body diodes of the pass gates, and it kind of cascaded all through where they were expecting a circuit would not be energized, but because of this battery backup circuit that they had, it was. So finding these types of challenges are very important. And particularly when we have a lot of low power circuits, a lot of devices that run with battery backups, understanding where these challenges are going to be, not only for single points of failure, but understanding where there are multiple issues and errors in designs, like one having, for example, high impedance state and a contention state error, it's very important to find these things as we go through the circuit and highlight them to the designer so that they can be made visible and corrected before we go into tape out in these types of circuits. 
So in general, the most damaging problems that our customers are finding often occur due to an obscure combination of factors that was missed during simulation or just simply overlooked in the functional models that they're looking at. That makes sense. Now, Matt, before we go, can you recap your main points for me? Absolutely, Amelia. The Insight Analyzer technology really complements the Caliber Perk suite of reliability verification tools that we have. Caliber Perk has been successful having a look at these foundry sign-off checks. And now we're able to use the Insight Analyzer technology to really shift left and focus on the design-driven reliability verification market. We're able to leverage the proven and differentiable technology in this product to really help analog designers and circuit designers understand what's happening in their circuit before they get to simulation. And with a focus on leakage, particularly the analog, digital, and parasitic being our initial focus, it's really provided a very powerful capabilities for designers to be successful with their designs and improve the verification coverage that they're able to get and significantly reduce their need for long running simulations and particularly understanding that the test vectors that they're putting into these simulations may not cover all the conditions that they need to be concerned about. Insight Analyzer technology has great coverage in that area and really allows designers with this shift left strategy to be able to validate and verify their design and address design specific circuit reliability issues. So adding the Insight Analyzer technology um, along with your portfolio of checks that designers have to Caliber Perk really provides a wonderful synergy for end-to-end -end circuit reliability solutions. Analog circuit designers today and people designing with transistors can have high confidence that by leveraging this technology, they're able to identify and mitigate the challenges that they have, particularly when they're looking at a leakage focus. So it's a compelling technology that they really should be looking at to help augment the flows that they have in place today. Fantastic. Well, Matt, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thanks so much, Amelia. It was lovely being here. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Siemens. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal. <laughs>